I am Anil Kumar and here is your first test problem on concavity and points of inflection of a function. So I will sketch a graph here. Let us say we have a function whose graph is given uh, as kind of like this. So that's the graph of a function. Now what you need to do here is you need to find uh, at different places on this graph where is uh, the function concave up? Where is the function concave down? That is the interval, right? So you need to find point of inflection. And you need to give sign for uh, the derivative. Uh, in different regions and the first and the second derivative right so so that is what you need to do for this particular graph so you can say this is a function f of x here we have x zero so you could actually if you see this you could plot some points so this is a good point to consider right so let us and let me just write some more points here okay so let us say these points for us are a, B, C, D, and E. With reference to these points, you can explain all these characteristics of the function. Okay, so let's do them one by one. First one is concave up. Concave up means if you hold your hand like a cup, right? So that is concave up, right? So that is concave up. So we see this part is concave up. Second way is draw tangent. So if you draw a tangent line, the graph of the function is above the tangent, so that makes it concave up. So so the portion between A to B, I should say, so the portion between A to B is concave up, right? Similarly here, we have portion between D to E and thereafter, right? So, so from D to E and thereafter, it is kind of concave up right as far as concave down is concerned so if I draw the tangent then then the graph is below the tangent line from B to D right so from let's say B to D it is concave down is that okay so that is the portion well this is not the good way of writing but anyway uh, what you could do here is uh, you could write points as X points as a B uh, well, this is good, 0. We'll use 0, right? So, we'll call this as D and this point as E. So, you could write interval notation. So, we can say it is concave up in the interval from, let's say, minus infinity to B, right? Minus infinity to B. This is better way of writing. And from D to plus infinity and from, uh, you could say, union, right? Union from D to plus infinity. It is concave up and it's concave down from B to D. So we'll say from B to D, right? That is concave down. Now, when the concavity changes, we get point of inflection. And so we have two points of inflections here. So one point of inflection is at B, the other one is at D, which you could also write as X equals to B and at X equals to D, right? As you wish. Both are good enough. Okay, as far as the derivatives are concerned, what we can say here is that if you see the tangent, it is, uh, it is positive, more positive. Do you see that? But after this point, it kind of becomes zero at C, right? So, so what you notice here is that, that the, the de first derivative is increasing. First derivative is increasing uh, from minus infinity to b, right? So all throughout when the function is concave up, it is increasing. And it is also increasing from uh, d to infinity. It is negative, very high value of negative, and going to less and less negative and finally 0, approaching 0. So from d to infinity, it is increasing. However, the derivative is decreasing 
in the interval from B to D, right? Now, that matches up with your concavity. Perfect. And also, you will notice that the second derivative, it is concave up, means second derivative is positive. So, it is, it is positive, or we could say greater than zero, for the interval when it is concave up, which is minus infinity to B, and from, I could, I'm using D small letter, uh, for the X values, right? So it is positive. However, it is F double prime second derivative is less than zero or negative when X is between uh, B to D, right? So when X is between B to D. So that is how you can see how concavity points of inflection and derivatives are related. I hope this example helps you to understand the criteria. We'll take up algebraic equations also and verify these facts. I hope that helps. Thank you.